So this is Yuan Guang uh, from UTLC. Today I will present our paper, Indoor Photometry. People always want to record their important moments, such as fighting ceremony, their maybe sports walking, and their wonderful performance in sports. To take great videos for these moments, a lot of human efforts are needed. Our photographer may have to take some awkward person postures, carry, uh, carry heavy equipment, or get burning out due to time consuming video taping. To save human cost, uh, we want to automate this video taping process. With inexpensive and powerful drones, we can let them automatically follow user for video taping. To achieve high quality of video taping with your drone, we need to maintain a constant falling distance between you and the user so that videos are stable and smooth. Also, we need to maintain a favorable orientation between them so that uh, the user appears in the desired region of the video. To achieve these goals, we need to solve two problems. The first one is measure the distance and orientation between you and the user. And such measurement should be available indoor to support indoor photography function. Based on measurement, we need to control the flight of the drone to keep the desired distance and the orientation. Uh, for tracking, uh, commercial drones with all the functions need to GPS signals, but that is only available for Ordo. When GPS is not available, computer vision is commonly used by drones to track targets. However, some simple algorithms such as color filtering are not accurate or robust. Some sophisticated algorithms based on image descriptors are computationally heavy for mobile implementation. For control part, uh, several control algorithms are developed to control the flight of drone. Among them, PID controller is most commonly used because of its simplicity and no requirement on system knowledge. But the lack of system knowledge is not free. It may affect the computer screen and stability of the controller. In our application, we use acoustic signals for tracking because of its high accuracy uh, web availability and low processing cost. Also, we need to solve some new challenges in our application. Uh, the first, uh, the manifest generated by furniture and walls in indoor environment is a severe problem and may significantly impact the system performance. Also, the strong propeller noise of the drill may affect the tracking accuracy and the robustness. For control, we develop our controller based on MPC framework. So the key idea is to leverage prediction and take action in advance. This is helpful to minimize fluctuation of falling distance and orientation and provide stable and smooth video. To support MPC, we need to effectively integrate it with our tracking part. Also, previous IPC-based work let the drone follow predefined trajectory. But in our case, drone can follow user who can move arbitrarily. So in this case, we need to predict the drone's uh, movement to support MPC. So to solve both tracking and control problems, uh, we develop a holistic system called drone track. It relies on mobile carry by user whose microphone is used to receive acoustic signals sent by the drone. And we develop a new tracking algorithm called Riley to measure the distance between drone and user. Based on the measurements, an uh, MPC-based controller is developed to compute how to move the drone to keep the desired distance and orientation. And the control command is sent back to the drone using my balance. First, I will explain the uh, our tracking part of our system. It is used to estimate the distance between drone and user. And one effective approach for distance estimation is FMCW. So in FMCW, the sender transmits uh, a chirp signal whose frequency linearly sweep over time. And the receiver meets the receiver signals with transmitted ones, and the resulting signal is a cosine whose frequency is equal to F1, as shown by this figure. 
To determine F1, we can apply FFT on the mixed signals and find the peak in the spectrum. It can be shown that the propagation delay is, and propagation distance are proportional to F1. However, when there is a uh, reflect path close to the right one, we will receive another copy of chirp on that path and get an extra term in the mix of the signals. When we apply FFT on these signals, we may find the peaks corresponding to two frequencies, F1 and F2, may merge together, as shown by this figure. And in this case, we cannot accurately determine F1 and hence propagation distance. What this means to our system, uh, the metapaths introduced by walls and furniture make the measured distance erroneous, and this in turn leads to wrong control behavior and makes the control significant in this way. Music is a potential solution for this, uh, for this problem. It's a super resolution parameter estimation algorithm and widely used for estimating angle for level. But in nature, it takes a sum of cosine as the input and computes the pseudo spectrum. The peaks in this spectrum indicate the frequency components of the input. So the key observation here is that our mixed signals follow the exact music model and we can apply music here. So in this case, we can clearly determine F1, F2 and here's corresponding propagation delay. So, uh, by applying uh, music to FMCW, our approach significantly enhances the capability of resolving metapaths. Besides applying mu uh, music to FMCW, our approach includes other designs to combine with metapaths, noise, and reduce the computation cost. First, let me talk about the impact of speaker distortion. So, in our previous example, we see extreme, extremely sharp peak in the spectrum derived by music. But this is based on simulation. When we apply the approach to the real system, we see a much wider peak. And much wider peak means lower capability to resolve metapaths. And after a close investigation, we found this problem actually due to the distortion in acoustic channel. And uh, such distortion makes the signals deviated from the model required by music and hence reduces its performance. One major source of distorted speaker, it has various gains over different frequency components. To solve this problem, we introduce a digital filter and compensate speaker distortion. And after compensation, we see much wider peaks. Another problem is strong propeller noise. When it's present, we observe some false peak in the spectrum derived by music. And we identify some essential property of music peaks and leverage them to remove false peak and identify the correct peak corresponding to the direct path transmission. Also, we apply time measurement to combine velocity measurement with distance measurement to enhance the robustness against the noise. Also, the computation cost of original music is heavy because it needs to apply value decomposition on the autocorrelation matrix of input samples. As the size of this matrix increases, the running time of music significantly goes up. In our tracking period, we have 1400 effective samples, and this gives us an autocorrelation matrix as large as 700 by 700. The computation cost for such large matrix is unacceptable. To solve this problem, we divide our original samples into multiple groups, and each group can be considered as a subsampling of original sequence. The key insight here is that the subsample signals retain the same frequency component as an original one. So we can apply music on subsamples and combine the results together. In this case, we only need to perform eigenvalue decomposition on much smaller matrix and this significantly reduces the computation cost. 
Now let me introduce some control part of our system. So uh, our controller is based on MPC framework due to its predictive power. Prediction is critical in our application to keep stable following distance between two and user. Without prediction, we will see the following distance will significantly fluctuate as shown by the video. So, to explain our, uh, the key idea of our approach, we use distance control as an example. Uh, here, we want to maintain a desired distance D0. First, we, we need to measure the current distance DC using our rapid algorithm. And then, we predict user's movement in the next period. And to keep the desired distance D0, we need to move our drone by dc plus du minus d0. And based on the model describing the relationship between drone displacement and drone input, we can determine the input, next input of the drone. So in our paper, we saw practical challenges for measuring relative orientation between drone and the user, predicting user's movement, and uh, building the system model. We implement our drone on, uh, uh, we implement our system on AR drone and Samsung S7. To evaluate the tracking performance, we compare the uh, distance estimation error of our approach and uh, traditional FMCW. We see our approach achieve 0.7 cm tracking error even under the presence of strong noise and severe battle paths. Also, when various types of environment noise are also present, the performance of our check does not degrade. This indicates the robustness of our approach uh, to environment noise. So, uh, for, uh, for the computation cost of our approach is also low. Uh, the, the processing delay for checking part is only 9 milliseconds, and including control, the overall delay is 30 milliseconds. To evaluate the core performance of our, our system, we let the drone follow a user along trees uh, in, the, uh, in our department building, and we compare three schemes. The so drone track with mobile holding in hand, putting in a bag, and the system using FMCW for tracking. I uh, use the same control with our system. So for each scheme, we let the drone uh, follow the user for 10 times along the trees, and for each time, if there is a track loss, we consider that Brian is a failure. We see our approach uh, outperform traditional FMCW in terms of successful ranks. And this indicates the robustness of our system. Also, our system achieved 2 to 3 cm distance following error, and 1 to 2 degree orientation following error. And uh, here, the following error is defined as the difference between the desired values and uh, real values. Also, to evaluate the video quality captured by drone, we use the jerk metric, which captures the smoothness over consecutive frames in a video. We see our approach achieves smaller jerks than FMCW based and handheld video taping. So, this indicates more stable and smooth video. In conclusion, uh, our paper develops a new tracking algorithm based on acoustic signals and propose a holistic design of an indoor following drone. We also implement a prototype system and extensively evaluate performance. Uh, for future work, we want to combine our approach with the vision based method to further enhance the functionality of our system. Finally, I would like to show a demo video for our system. Oh, you're walking patterns, such just going along a straight line, or a curved path, or making a turn. The system is robust to multi path and works well near furniture or close to a wall. The mobile can be put into a bag or a pocket. Audio signals are able to pass them. Okay, thanks.
It's a very short video. <laughs>